welcome to Yoga with Amanda. Today I'm going to be doing a class for athletes. Um, it's summertime and often we're outside playing tennis and basketball or swimming, rock climbing, um, biking, running. So today it's going to cover right all the summer activities that we do for athletes. Um, the stretches that we're going to do are going to focus on those athletes and the things that you're going to be doing to help the balance out all the strength that you'll be doing often when you're doing tennis or, or some, some, some of the sports where you're using one side more than the other. So today is going to help to balance out both sides of the body, to stretch everything out, a little bit of strength right for our smaller muscle group, and to stretch out our bigger muscles. So to start, we're going to come down onto all fours. We're going to start on your hands and your knees. We'll come to all fours. Bring your hands, your palms under your shoulders. Bring your knees under your hips. So we're going to start at cat cows. So we're going to lift your head, reaching your chest. You're going to tilt the pelvis up. Exhale, round your spine, keep your chest. Inhale, lift your head, reach the heart, tilt the pelvis up. Exhale, rounding to your chest, belly to the back. Inhale, lift your head, reach the heart, tilt the pelvis up. Exhale, rounding to your chest, belly to the back. Inhale again, lift your head, reach the heart, tilt the pelvis up. Stretch the arms forward. You're going to spread your palms, spread your fingers, reaching your chest to bring your head to the floor, bring your head to the mat. Inhale, breathe into the sides of the body, stretching out the legs, the ankles, the shins. Relax the neck, <clears throat> relax your head. Inhale, breathe. Relax that upper back. Inhale. Spreading your palms, your fingers, maybe lifting your elbows. Now we're going to walk your hands back. I'm going to let you bring your elbows together. You're going to lift your hands. You're going to lift your palms and your forearms. Bring your elbows together. Bring your forearms together with your palms. We're going to sit back towards the heels with your head hanging down to relax your head, relax your neck, relax your shoulders. And then breathe into that upper back. So inhale. And breathe into that upper back. Relax the shoulder head. Relax the arm. Inhale, breathe. Relax your neck. Inhale. We're going to reach the arms out again. You can spread your palms, spread your fingers, look towards your thumb, reach your chest to the floor, bring your head to the floor. Relax your neck. Inhale. We're going to walk your hands back under the shoulders. Come up onto all fours. We're going to come into downward facing dogs. We're going to bring your hands. Shoulder width apart, spreading your palms, your fingers, curl the toes under, lift your knees and your hips. You can bring your feet anywhere from hip width apart to the width of the mat. Hands should be shoulder width apart. We're going to press back, pressing into the three points of our hands. We're taking the weight out of our wrists, lengthening the inner arm. The eyes and the elbows are turning in, the shoulder heads are rotating out. The shoulder blades are drawing together. Scoop the belly in, reach the hips back, reach your heels down. Spread your palms, spread your fingers, inhale. Now from here, come back down to all fours, so come back down to your hands and your knees. We're gonna come in to thread the needle. This is a stretch for the upper back. So we're gonna bring <coughs> your knees under the hips are a little bit wider. We're gonna bring your toes together. We're gonna bring your right arm behind the left one. We're going to bring the right side of your face to the floor. Bring your left hand to the floor as you reach the right arm over. So we're going to bring your right cheek, right side of the face to the floor. We're going to press into the left hand. So we're lifting the left shoulder away from the floor. The back of the right shoulder. Shoulder blade. Make sure you can relax your head and your neck. Relax your feet and keep your hips balanced. Inhale, breathe. Relax your head. Now. now go ahead and press into your left hand. Come up, bring your right hand to the floor, take your left arm behind your right leg. Bring the left side of your head, right your face, your cheek to the floor. Bring your right hand to the floor. I bring my right hand right off of my mat. I'm going to lift your right shoulder, 
right shoulder blade right away from the floor to the back of the left shoulder. Relax the head and the neck, relax your feet, keeping the tops of the feet on the floor. Keep your hips balanced. Inhale, lift that right shoulder gently away from the floor. Relax the back of the left arm, relax the neck, inhale. And go ahead and come back up onto all fours. Let's come back to your hands and your knees, sit back towards your heels. Again, stretch the hands forward, coming into child's pose again. Just spread your palms and your fingers, bring your head to the floor, breathing into the sides of the body, so that upper back, head, neck, inhale. Then I'll walk your hands back under the shoulders. We're going to come into downward facing dog again, so bring your hands Shoulder width apart on the mat, curl the toes under, lift your knees, lift your hips, press it back, press into the three points of the hand, so pat under your thumb, pat under the index finger, the pinky side of the hand, taking the weight out of the wrist, eyes of the elbows are turning in, shoulder heads are rotating out, scoop that belly in, reach the heels down, bend your knees if you need to, as much as you need to, inhale. Now come back down, to all four, but we're going to come right into pigeon pose. So we're going to bring your left knee up towards your left hand. We're going to bring your left knee right over to the edge of the mat. We're going to stretch the right leg back. We're going to bring. We're going to come down to your elbows. We're going to bring your elbows under the shoulders. Pull the left hip back in line with the right one. Reach your chest forward. Inhale, breathe. Pull that left hip back. Keeping your Balance. We're stretching, right? A deeper stretch and external rotation in your left hip. And we're stretching the front of the right leg, top of the right hip. Inhale. If this is too much pressure on your knee, your left knee, you can skip this um, variation. There's a lot of other variations that we can do on our back. So if we're applying this one, it's too much pressure for the left knee, you can always just come into child's pose again. So you can do cat cow and come into child's pose. Inhale. Now bring your hands back to the mat. We're going to come up. We're going to bring the right leg forward, left leg back. We're going to bring that right knee over in line with your right hand. We're going to walk the left leg back. So we're going to come down again to your elbows. So when our hips to be balanced, I'm just going to feel the front of my pelvis, the front of my left hip, the front of my right hip. I'm going to pull that right hip back. I want to relax the top of my left leg, the front of my left hip, the alignment of your elbows, right in your shoulders, reaching your chest forward, so our back right is lengthening, our spine is lengthening forward. Inhale, breathe. Under, lift your knees, lift your hips, press back, reach the hips back, make sure you get the back of the legs so those calf muscles are feeling, bend your knees if you need to, lengthen that inner arm, lift the hips, bend your knees if you need to, right, let's find a soft knee, protect those wrists, those elbows, those shoulders, inhale. Now we're going to walk your hands to your feet, so walk your hands right back to your feet, and then press into your feet and come up, walk up, take a big breath, reach up, bring your palms together, bring your hands in front of your heart. Now you're going to take the mat, hold your mat in half, and go ahead and fold it in half again, just so it's out of the way for now. And we're going to stand, you kind of put it in the center of the mat, which out of the way. We're going to stand in front of the blanket, and we're going to bring I'm going to face towards, you're going to bring your feet together and actually grab your blocks, put your blocks, I'm going to use them in a minute, just put them in front of you on the highest level. So we're going to bring your feet together, arms down by your side, we're going to take the arms into the air, grab the back of your left wrist, press your left palm towards the ceiling, stretch over to the right, draw the tailbone in, breathe into that left side, inhale, breathe into the feet, relax your head. 
back of the neck. Strong, draw your tailbone in, inhale, breathe into the right side, and over to the left, just gently inhale. Now we're going to come back up, bring your arms down. We're going to come into a forward bend. You're going to bring your hands to your blocks. I'm going to have you set your right foot to the outside of your left foot. Move your blocks a little bit to the left, so they're centered around your feet. And we're stretching the outside of the left leg from your left hip to the knee. If you want to move your hips a little bit to the right to get a deeper stretch, you can move your hips to the right. You can put your head hanging down as much as you want. So relaxing your head and your neck and the shoulders. Inhale, breathe. And go all three points of the feet. Now I'm just trying to put both of my feet evenly on the floor. Now, bring your right foot next to your left and go ahead and come up in between. Take a big breath, reach up, bring your palms together, bring your hands in front of your heart, come into a forward fold, grab your block, set your left foot to the outside of the right foot. You're going to move your blocks a little bit to the right so they're centered around your feet, bringing your palms or your fingertips to your block, your head hang down, and just see how you feel up the outside of the right leg, from the right knee right to the hip. And if you want to move your hips a little bit to the left, you get a deeper stretch. Relax your head and your neck. Inhale, breathing. your left foot next to your right one, and center your blocks, press into your feet, come up, look up, take a big breath, reach, palms together, hands in front of your heart. Now, grab your blocks, bring your face towards the top of the mat, start to bring your feet together, we're going to put your blocks around your feet, and we're going to set the left foot back, so bring your left foot, left heel to the floor, coming into a split leg forward fold. So left heel all the way down, left leg is straight, pull that right hip back and reach your chest forward. Maybe lifting your toes, inhale, breathe. Kind of relax your head, your head hang down, relax the neck. Inhale, you can lift the head and reach the chest forward. Inhale. We're gonna come into a twist. We're gonna take the block that's under your left hand, put it to the inside of the right foot, like an inch or two away from your foot. Bring your left hand to your block, then look to the right, bring your right hand to your right hip, lift your right shoulder away from the floor, pressing into that left heel, push your chest forward, pull that right hand back, inhale. Now bring your right hand to your block, step your left foot next to your right foot, press into your feet and come up. Take a big breath, look up, reach, palms together, Come into a forward fold, hands to your block, set your right foot back. So right foot, right heel, all the way to the floor. Pull that left hip back, driving into that right heel so you can lift the toes. Reach the chest forward, pull your shoulders back, right away from those ears. And then go ahead and fold if you want over your left leg. Relax your head, right your neck, your shoulders. Inhale. Now take the block under your right hand, put it about an inch or two away from your left foot. Bring your right hand to your block, bring your left hand off of your block, bring your left hand to your left hip. Look to the left, lift that left shoulder away from the floor. Inhale, breathe, driving into that right heel, reach the chest forward, pull that left hip back, inhale. Now bring your left hand 
to your block, set your right foot next to your left foot, press into your feet and come up, look up, reach, palms together, hands in front of your heart. Now, we're going to come up to a forward bend, we're going to grab your blocks, put them on the medium level, we're going to set the left foot back, we're going to bring your left hand to the blanket back a little bit, take your blanket about three quarters of the way back on your mat. You don't have to use a blanket here. I like one for my knee. We're going to bring your left knee to the floor. Coming into a lunge, bring your right foot over to the edge of the mat. So I'm with your right pinky toe right along the edge of the mat. Put your blocks, whatever level you like them is fine. You can bring your hands to the floor. I want you to stretch the front of the left leg and the inside of the right leg. You're going to lift the chest to the line of your left knee, left hip. Inhale. Doing the chest, lengthening our spine, inhale, breathe. Inhale, breathing. Bring your hips back, bring your right knee back next to your left one. Go ahead and set your left foot forward, bring your left pinky toe right over to the edge of the mat, bring your blocks to the inside of your left foot. Bring your hands to your blocks, lunging forward. Sliding up left ankle, left knee, right knee, right hip, hands, blocks right under your shoulders. Lift your head, lift your chest, relax the front of the right leg, the top of the right leg, the inside of the left leg. Inhale, breathe. Your blanket is going to come under your ankles and your feet. We're going to sit right on top of your heels. So bring the hands here, wrap some stretch right the top of the legs, the ankles, the shins, these quad muscles. If this is too much pressure on your knees, you can come off of your block or your blanket and put your blocks between your feet. You can sit on your blocks. Inhale, breathe. Relax the shoulders. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Now we're going to come forward again. Bring your hands shoulder width apart, point the toes under, lift your knees, lift your hips, press back, reach those hips back. Inhale, breathe. Deepen that inner arm. Arm, all that strength again around our hips. Great job getting our 
outer part of the hip. Breathe. Right sides of our core. And right hand to your block. Right foot next to your left one. Press into your feet and come up. Reach. Palms together. Hands in front of the heart. Now, come into a forward fold. Bring your chin to your chest. Bring your palms to your shins. Lift your head, look forward. Now go ahead and bend your knees, come down to all fours. I'm going to have you come to sit on the cross of your ankles, your shins, or you bring the bottom of your feet together. So come into bottom, come back to the first so ankles, or not ankles, but heels together. Recall the toes, holding on to your ankles or your shins. Go ahead and lift the chest. Nice big, great external rotation right in our hips. So whenever we do yoga, right, for athletes and yoga, right, for sports, often whenever we're playing sports, we're really contracting um, muscles, right, different muscles, bigger muscles. So often when we come to yoga, you're already contracting your muscles a lot from a different activity, especially if you're just running and you're seeing right movement or just like you know you're seeing movements in your body. Often it's nice just to do deeper stretching, right? I always like to add a little bit of strength into everything, but sometimes you just need um, right, a nice deeper stretch. So from here, you're going to touch your right leg out. Your left is going to come to the inside of the right, and you're going to come right into a forward bend. So I have my belt. If you need to put a belt around your right foot, you can bring your belt around it. You can also put your blocks right next to the foot, so you can put one block on each side, you can put whatever angle, or whatever, not angle, whatever level. You want your blocks to be on. I'm going to grab my foot, so I'm going to bring one hand right around each side of my foot. I'm going to come right over that leg. So I'm going to reach my forehead towards my right shin. I go towards the knee, pressing through my right heel, toes pointing up, knee pointing up. I'm trying to relax that left leg right in the left hip. Inhale. I'm going to come up. We'll stretch out more on the left leg. Bring your right foot to the inside of the left leg. I'm going to come over again. So you can use a belt. You can put a belt around the foot. Block on each side of the foot. You can just grab the toes, grab the sides of the foot. Bring your belly button towards the top of the left leg. Forehead towards that left shin. Heels towards your knee. Relax your right leg. Right leg to right hip. Bring a nice big, again, external rotation. Stretching off the back of that left leg. Lift that chest. Inhale. So coming up and over the leg. Inhale, breathe. Now we're going to come back up. I'm going to have you stretch out both of your legs at one point. Right here. So this is a nice one to use, right? A belt, especially if your hamstrings are um, strong. I'm going to use the word tight. We're going to say it's strong. Right? And just slowly right, come over. You can easily reach the toes. You can grab the toes. Not that we don't have a belt. You can also also, just bring your hands to the shin, right next to them, and let your head hang down, lifting that chest, coming up, coming over the top of the legs. Inhale, breathe. Now, I'm going to come back up. I'm going to have you cross legs. I'm going to actually sit um, with my back to you for this. So you can see my arms. I'm going to cross on my ankles, the shins. I want you to go side to side. You're going to bring your right hand to the floor. We're going to reach that left side. We're going to stretch a little bit deeper right into our left side. Now, I want you to reach your left sit bone towards the floor. You feel your head hitting down. Your ears a little tighter in the thighs of the neck. Hold that left shoulder back. Inhale, breathe. Relax your right leg. Relax your left leg. left hand right to the floor. Reach that right arm up. Roll that right shoulder back. Pull that right sit bone. Reach it towards the floor. Let your head hang down if you need to. Relax your head, your neck, the shoulders. Relax both of the legs. Inhale. And come back up and grab our belt. So we're going to take your belt. Take it over. Um, your right shoulder. It can be really either shoulder. We'll start with your right shoulder. So we're going to take um, your left arm. I'm going to have you grab the, actually, let's take it to our left shoulder. I'm going to have you grab the top of the belt 
with your left hand, you're gonna reach, you're gonna bend the right elbow, and your palm is gonna be facing um, away from your back, right? So the back of your right hand's against the back. You're gonna grab the belt with your right hand. So grab the belt with your left hand at the top, with your right hand below that, and feel that right shoulder, right shoulder blade. So the left arm, left arm's coming in towards right your head, towards your ear, left elbow's reaching towards the ceiling. And just gently, very gently. I'm gonna, I don't really want to say pull on the belt, but hold on to the belt. Lift that chest, look forward, and breathe. Relax that right shoulder. Inhale. All right, let's switch sides. So let's move your butt over to the right side, the right shoulder. We're gonna take your right arm up. We're gonna grab the belt with the right hand. Take your left hand, so left palm's facing away from you. Grab. Right at the bottom of the belt, and just grab right where it's comfortable, right? Sometimes our shoulders are really tight. Just relax right that left shoulder, look forward, not to drop the head, lift the chest, that external rotation in that right shoulder, right arm coming in towards the head. Inhale, breathe. your arm and both arms down and relax the shoulders now we're going to come to your back you're going to bring your belt with you we're going to come to our back we're going to put the belt around your feet so let's just do your right foot first you're going to bring your right foot right into the belt stretch out your left leg wrap your hands around your belt take it one time Press to the right heel, bend your right knee as much as you need to. Pull your left knee and your left toes towards the ceiling. Let's look at the right hip, right, right ankle, lining them up. Inhale, breathe. And let your right knee bend. It has to bend right a lot. Let it bend as much as it needs to. And I always get the belt right under the ball of my toes at the top of the arch of my right foot. I'm going to gently press through the heel and feel your lower back. Relax your lower back. Inhale, press through the heel. Inhale, breathe. Now we're gonna bring your left foot, put your left foot into the belt. Bring your right foot to the floor, stretch out your right leg, and bring the belt right under the ball the toes, the off of the arch, to the top of the arch of the left foot. Press through your left heel, pull your left toes towards your shin, relax the back, inhale, breathe. to the floor, right to the floor. I'm going to hug your knees, look at your knees right into the chest, relax with your feet, your ankles, open up the legs, reach the lower back towards the floor, inhale, breathe. Now go ahead and bring your feet to the floor, let your knees go nice and wide, bring the bottom of the feet together, bring your arms around the head. So nice again, big external rotation here in our hips. Inhale. Stretching across your left shoulder, 
We're gonna cross the chest, bring your right hand to the outside of the left leg. And feel right your rib cage moving around your spine. Feel your shoulder blades, feel your shoulder, right? Your chest, your left hip, lengthening, reaching that left hip towards the bottom of the mat. Inhale. Left knee, just press that right leg, right knee, gently away from the body. 
the body, left shin to the right shin, right hand to the back of the right leg, and gently pull the right leg right in towards your body. Relax that right hip. Exhale out, and across the back of the pelvis. So in your glute muscles, there are muscles that run across right in the pelvis. Take your safe breath, perform this after right here to mouth muscles and then relax those muscles. to the floor, right foot to the floor, bring your left ankle a little bit past the right knee, press that left leg, left knee, left hip a little bit right away from the body. And let's do this first, right, so you can feel that hips moving, rotating, how does your knee feel, does everything feel good, lift up the right leg, bring both ankles a little bit closer, right hand to your left leg, left shin, left shin to the back of the leg, gently pull that left leg closer to the body. So hopefully now you're ready for another round of golf, another tennis match, tennis game, maybe something with some laps in the pool, maybe some hoops, some basketball, so maybe some rock climbing. I don't know what crazy things you're doing, but hopefully your body, right, your joints feel good, everything feels stretched out, feel more balanced, you can go, right, and stay active. So if you enjoyed the class, please subscribe below and click on the bell next to that button to be the first one to know when I add a new class. And also, as you can see today, I'm back um, into my studio space. Before, I was recording over my home yoga studio. Now I'm back into my studio space where I teach. So hopefully getting back to teaching soon. Um, and hopefully I'll see some of you guys soon. All right, have a great day.